Hi, I'm Sister Valdez from One Hand Light Inc. I'm here with Jackson Rathbone today. How are you doing? I'm good, how are you doing? Very well, I'm happy to be here on the set of Justice the Movie, and uh, I'm sure you're happy to be here acting in it. I am, I'm very happy, thank you. How is it going so far? It's going wonderfully. We just uh, did a scene where uh, I play the, the, the reverend of the town, and I kind of go on a fiery speech calling out the, uh, the bad guys. And uh, that only made them very happy. It sounds like you are already carrying the countenance very well, and I'm sure that was a smooth delivery you had, because kind of taking it back right now with a little bit of that preachy voice. So. Oh, thank you. So yeah. you're, you're... I grew up in church. What can I say? Oh, Both really? my parents teach the Bible. My dad is a, a community Bible study leader. My mother also teaches kids and uh, the Bible, and so I, I, I grew up with it. I think they'll be very proud because you're already very convincing. Oh, thank you. Um, and what about this genre for you? I, everyone knows you from Twilight. Um, mm -hmm. How about this type of genre? I saw you were in something like a Western at one time, Little Angels. Oh, uh, Cowgirls and Angels. Cowgirls and yeah, Angels. Yeah, that was more of a, a kind of modern, uh, uh, it, was a, it was a Christian movie about, uh, about Cowgirls and the Rodeo. Uh -huh. uh, it was a wonderful, wonderful film. I'm really happy to be a part of that one. Uh, and as opposed to, you know, in Twilight we did actually a little call back to the Civil War because the character I played was actually from the Civil War era. So, um, but that's, that's a little different. That's kind of like a horror film. Are you going to pull on that uh, era that you were, the bygone era you were supposed to be pulling on for that movie? Is it coming into play in this at all? Well, I did a lot of research in the Civil War, especially back when I was, uh, you know, doing all the Twilight movies. So I really wanted to hold myself to the countenance of someone from that time period. And, so I just kind of got to go back to a, a lot of that. I um, also looked up in a kind of uh, reverend styles or preaching styles of, uh, of, the, of the time, and kind of how, how they came across. Um, I'm always very interested in history, and uh, I think the Civil War is a really interesting and amazing time, um, especially for America, obviously, because you know, we were fighting each other. The brothers were fighting the brothers. And, um, really amazing uh, time. So to be able to tell uh, a movie set in that kind of time period is really, really, it's a lot of fun, actually. And what do you think Justice is going to portray um, and teach the viewing public uh, about uh, its message? Uh, I think it's going to teach uh, the viewing public that uh, Nathan's a badass. <laughs> Okay, I got that one. There you go. Yeah, uh, I've seen a little bit of that. I can agree with that so far. Yeah. With limited viewing. Of that. Well, we're not, we're not making an educational program here. Hopefully, right. we're going to you know, entertain people. Mm -hmm. um, this is a, a story of revenge um, and uh, kind of redemption in a lot of ways. And I think uh, what's, what, what I like about the story is, and what I like about the script is that you have this kind of, it's almost like a detective story kind of stuck in, in the middle of a Western. And uh, it's got the, all these elements of a, of a great revenge tale. And that's something I really like. I think what the American public and movies that my parents like are where you see a good guy having to maybe do some bad things in order to right wrongs. Mm, that's perfect. You got your movie poster right there. Boom. That's beautiful. I think I'm ready to see it. Do I get paid extra for that? <laughs> yes. No? No? Oh, yes. I heard yes. <laughs> yeah, got that on there. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> I think you've earned it. <laughs> so thank you very much. We really look forward to seeing it all uh, unfold. And uh, really quick before I let you go, yes. how do you like New Mexico so far? I love it. New Mexico is great. Yeah. Uh, I'm sad that I'm, I don't get to spend more time here, to be sure. honest. Uh, but it's, it's beautiful. The sunset today mm -hmm. was absolutely gorgeous. The San Diego, is that what it is? Uh, yeah, the San Diego. San Diego, over that way. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's, you know. That way. <laughs> it was beautiful. It was gorgeous. Um, kind of a, like a pinkish hue yes. the sky. The beautiful painted sky. Ah, it, was, it was absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. I, mean, I, I grew up a good bit of time in, uh, in the Panhandle in Texas. And so I, I love the desert. I love the kind of western uh, feel. Yeah. Uh, the dirt blowing in my eyes. It reminds me of home. <laughs> well, we, we talked about the grit and then the grind of, of the shootout here in this rugged area. But uh, we're excited about the gritty story. Exactly. I mean, what would Leo do? And we hope. We'll see, because I'm sure you're right up there. No comment. <laughs> um, so we're really excited to see how this all turns out. And hopefully you'll be back to the Land of Enchantment, because we've got lots of productions rolling in. So hope ah, to see please, you again. Please. Thanks so much for coming.
Don't let anytime, go. Anytime. Never let go. The, the wind won't take you, I promise. You're, you're there was enough room <laughs> up on that, that piece of board for Leo to climb up there with Kate Winslet, and she just didn't let it. You're going to go. Never let go. Never let go. <laughs>